Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and apparently we're looking at a problem here that's so complex it takes me a couple of videos to get it right. So <laughs> let's try it. Hopefully I do better this time, but let's take a look. It says the bar graph shows the religious affiliations of New Zealanders from 1991 to 2006. If the trend on the graph continued, about what percent percent of New Zealanders probably identified as Christians in the year 2011. And I'm not quite sure why I wrote 2011 twice, but I only need it on there once. So here we see this question and then this bar graph. It's a bar graph. So super important things to make sure. First of all, let's make sure we understand what the question is asking us to find. So um, let's go straight to where they asked us what to find. It says, about what percent of New Zealanders probably identified as Christians in the year 2011? Okay, so if we go to our graph to try to figure this out, we're going to right away see a problem. I've got the year two, 1991, the year 1996, the year 2001, and the year 2006, but I don't have the year 2011. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. They're asking me to predict the future. Basically, they're asking me to make an inference. Making inferences is a skill that's all over the GED. Um, these bar graphs themselves, yeah, this, these will show up on science, social studies, or math. But as far as making inferences, that occurs on your social studies, your science, or your language arts. So we're really working on our skills here for all of our tests on this problem. So what does it mean? What do I mean when I say make an inference? I'm talking about taking information that you have, what you do know, and making a lo logical guess about something you don't know. So we have some years here, 1991, 96, 2001, and 2006 that we do know, and we can use those to predict what might happen in 2011. And notice what we get to assume. We get to assume that whatever trend, whatever patterns are happening on the graph are going to continue. So let's take a look. We want to compare the, uh, which group was it? It said about what percent of New Zealanders probably identified as Christians. So according to the key down here, the Christians are the green groups. So we're basically looking at the trend, the pattern of our greens. So if you can see here, the first uh, green that I had in 1991 was at about 70% of New Zealanders. And then we went down to 65%, and then 60%, and, sorry, and then this next one here is in between 60 and 50, so it looks like about 55%. And we see that we've been gradually decreasing about 5% um, each time I have a span of, well, I don't know, how many years is this? From 1991 to 96, let's see, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, looks like that's five years. And then again here, um, from 96 to 2001 is five years. And from 2001 to 2006 is five years. And then look what they want me to predict. They want me to predict what will happen in the next five-year gap. Well, since every time before this, when five years has passed, we've seen a decrease of 5%, I'm going to assume that I'm going to see a decrease of 5% in the next five years. So I'm going to assume that, whoa, I wrote it down wrong. 55 minus 5%, the next uh, percentage I'd see if this graph continued would be about 50%. So decent prediction, I'm going to say about 50%. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other math GED topic, I should say, drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.